Welcome to the back. Nice. Now, here's the thing, right? I know if you haven't been to this channel before, we have a lot of new people that are watching the videos. People on Discord, Xbox, etc. are sending me messages. And they're like, are you just guessing? Are you just playing and whatever feels good to you, then you assign? I was like, no. All this is based on what EA has given me and educated guesses. I don't just straight up guess. It's based off of something. And um, I was having a conversation with one person and they were like, well, uh, how do you, what rating do you think these goalies that we build, what overall rating do you think compared to the, 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 the goalies in the game, what ratings do you think to get? And I'm like, well, most of the, the goalies that people build are 75 to 81 overall. And they're like, how is it? How, how do you know that? How is it possible for you to know that? And I'm like, wait a minute. And I realized I took a lot of things for granted. Like I've been doing things for years playing this game that I realized a lot of people may not know how to do or may not. When these games first came out, there was a lot of cheating going on. So there's a lot of things you figured out or how to go in and how to edit things and how to use this and how to use that, that you don't have to in, in like the last six years or games before it or whatever it is because you and, and there's things that you don't commonly use so i've been using this type of, type of stuff for years whether it be to practice whether it be to try out builds whether it be to do all kinds of things i predominantly use this way of doing things in order to practice builds see how things work etc i don't just guess at it and i'm like when he was curious about the rating i'm like wait that's not based off a of guess i legit know that to be true so let me let me go let's go right into it we're not gonna cut away we're not gonna do anything we'll go right into this. this hybrid build right here and this is my latest creation of a hybrid build this hybrid build you haven't seen me play with it yet, yet. i'm playing with it in sixes games i've been tweaking it i've been going through this build is going to be beastly so you get the first preview of this just so i can show you what i'm talking about so take a snapshot of this build right now see this build right now see what it's built how it's built the everything about it okay so you see that build build right there we're gonna get off and we're gonna go, we're gonna exit the world of Chell. So this is how you do it. Um, we're gonna exit the world of Chell. Now we're gonna go to creation zone. We're gonna create a player. So in create a player, as you can see, I have two builds right here. This build is the the the, the stand-up build that I started with, that I worked on. As you can see, it's very similar to what I have inside um that I, I currently use on stream that you guys see me using and it's the one build that stayed here because it is the staple build it is not going anywhere all the other two haven't had staple builds so they don't get to be here now what i normally do is i'll come in here and i'll create seven eight ten different builds and when i do that i will then build them associate them and all of that and that way I don't have to go back and start over and go into a game, go into a game, play six games, put something on, take it off. That takes a year and a half to be able to do that. But this is the way it speeds up the process for you to understand. And if you notice both of these builds, one's a 75 and one's an 80. That's how I know what the builds are rated. That's how I know what you can get these builds to. That's how I know what the overall of them is. So. You would go in and you'd create a create a player. You go in and you create a goalie. All right, I already have one created. So you go in, you create a goalie, and this is where you would you would end up. So you'd end up here on this screen, just like a normal screen. So you'd go in details, and you'd go down, and you stands forty nine already in there six three one ninety five. I think that build was one eighty six. 186 so we've now built or duplicated the same build we have out there but equipment that none of that matters so we go to attributes these are all the same attributes that you saw on the guy so with these attributes in place that guy equals an 80 overall bill so low high uh stick low five hole all that is the same as the previous hybrid build i just showed you So it's not a guess. <laughs> um, the agility, see, but certain things do not matter because EA doesn't give you a way to correct them. So they always set them at 66. So endurance, 
doesn't matter because you can't set that poise you can't set that so none of it matters so you leave it exactly where ea has it because that's where they're gonna leave it angles you used to be able to mess with angles back in the day but you don't you don't anymore so you leave it puck play if you can see you leave it the same etc aggressiveness you used to be able to mess with aggressiveness back in the day you can't anymore so this is where you build your guy and that guy comes out to an 80 overall build so you go you save it And you save it now you can go and you can assign him to any team so whatever i want to work on if i want to see how the one-timer attribute works against one-timer shots i'll put the the one-timer attribute as my gold and assign it to a team that has the most players with the one-timer perk the nhl players with the one-timer perk so i'll assign it to that team but for now we're just going to assign him to the best team in the world. We're going to assign him to the Rangers. So, this goalie is assigned to the New York Rangers. Okay. So, once he's assigned to the New York Rangers, we go back over to more and we go to roster. We go to roster. We go to edit lines. When we go to edit lines, we go back to the Rangers. When you go back to the Rangers, you go LT and you go to goalies. Now, we want to put our goalie in here, so we sub out Halak, and we put in our goalie, the hybrid build we just we just created. So now, Joe NHL is part of the New York Rangers. So with that being done and said, and he's on the Rangers, now I can go back, and I could go to training and practice. I go to goalie practice, and I set up whatever I want. Let's say the rush with only two defensemen. You can change this any which way you want and it gives you a better feel for everything set up two on ones set up breakaways set up all of it you can go in here and you can set it up any which way you want because now we get to play with the hybrid drill that we created we get to play with that guy and we get to see the movement and computer shooters are way better than human shooters they pick spots they show you where your weakness is you get to play with it you get to just all around go around using the same guy, seeing how he moves. And you get to see right there. You get to go. You get to play. The pa they usually pass 10 times faster than humans do as the, as the computers will do at times. So they'll come in. They'll pass. They'll take shots. You'll see how well he handles certain shots. And you got to realize a lot of these guys got perks, five, six perks that you will never have. Look at all these passes. See what I mean? So this is how I come in. If I have three minutes, if I only have like three minutes and I get on, or if I have time when I first got get on and I don't have time to play a game with my team and warm up, I'll come in here and warm up because the movement, the stick movement, the eye movement, the passes, all of it, you have to be quick on it. And you get to see, all right, this build is pretty elite. This build is really good. Um, so you're seeing that now. But what I'm saying is you get to come in and you get to see every aspect of it. These guys have their attributes. They have all their stuff. So we come, see how the slide across. Did it go under his pads? These are the little things. Okay, this is how I knew five hole was screwed. This is how I knew um, that goal line shots are going to be a problem. I was telling you that before even before you're seeing what you're seeing today. Before you're seeing the skaters put on close quarters and come to the goal line and just shoot that short, short side anyway because it still goes in. You know what I mean? This is how I know these stuff ahead of time. It's not because, you know, I'm guessing. I know it. I'm testing it out. This is a legit way of testing out everything. Now, there are other things like this that are available to you in the game. I just assume that people knew these kind of things. And this was just second nature to me. I've been doing this for how many every years? So you can now do it. Test it out, build your guys, see what their overall is, play with it, go through. This is not what makes you a good goalie. This is how you build a good goalie build by going through, learning this, seeing what works, seeing how you play, seeing whatever it is. But when you get in the game, why it must be tested like at least like 15 times against humans is because you get to see tendencies and how you react in the tendencies and when you should do this, when you should do that, because computers... They shoot well, they pass well, they pick spots. They don't set you up like humans do. They just let you be able to follow the puck, be creative, uh, knowing how slow your guy is, 
how much push it takes, uh, what uh, stance works because you have to take this much push over, etc. So I'm not guessing. I hope you guys use this and build you guys and be better and be great. But this is, I thought this was more widely available or no knowledge. Otherwise, I would have given this to you guys a long time ago. But yeah, go ahead, go nuts. It's the black ice. We give it to you so you can make it great for yourself. Peace.